Hey everyone, this is Kayla from Get It Done Mom, and today I'll share with you a what I eat in a day on uh, Ruby. What are you doing on WW <laughs> Personal Boy? Sorry about that. As I was filming my intro, I realized she was chewing on a highlighter and getting it in her mouth. So now that I have that taken care of, and then the dog was freaking out. <laughs> but yeah, so now I'm good. Um, I'm starting this video a little later than usual because usually I would show you my breakfast, but I already ate breakfast this morning and I forgot to film it, but I wanted to film it what I eat in a day today because I'm eating some newer recipes, I guess you could say. One of them I've never tried before. And the other one, it's a recipe of my husband's grandmother. It's a kind of soup and I did the points on it. It's really good. So I figured I would share those recipes with you. Um, but for breakfast this morning, I had one third, no, don't eat the highlighter again. I had one third cup of oats, which is zero points for me on personal points. And then I had um, one, well, half a tablespoon of brown sugar in that, which is one point. I had a banana, which is zero, and I had one piece of toast, which is two, and one tablespoon of peanut butter, which is three. So basically it cost me six points for my breakfast. I'll do better at taking videos of the rest of what I eat. Um, so right now I'm starting at six points for breakfast. I have 27 points before using any weeklies or anything like that. So I have a bunch of points left, uh, 21 to be precise. And I'm sure I'm going to get points for my vegetables and the recipes I'm making and my water. So I'll have some extra points, but what I'm eating today is quite low points. So I think I'll be fine to stay within my points. Um, also I weighed in this morning. Um, it's my first full week back on WW and I did lose two pounds, which I'm so happy about especially since um, I did just start time of the month. You know? I won't go into too many details, but uh, because of that, I wasn't expecting to lose anything, um, but I had a really good week. I felt good. I didn't feel deprived. I made good choices, even though I was out of the house some of the days. Um, so I'm really happy with that two pound loss. It's a great kick in the butt to get back into gear. Um, so I started at 181.2 last week and now I'm at 179.2. So I'm back in the 170s, which is great. And now I want to make it to the 160s and then all the way to 150 probably is where I'm aiming right now. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> wish me luck. Um, I'm sure we'll have a good day. My points reset today and I'll show you guys what I eat. Okay, so it is lunchtime. I'm going to show you what I eat. It's a bit of a random match, but it's going to be super good and low points so here you go i have my cream of carrot soup um it's a very simple soup i will definitely leave um the information uh in the description if you want to make it but it is one point for a portion so there's four portions in the soup uh and so about like a cup or more is only one point it's super simple and super yummy and creamy without any cream in it and then I'm pairing it with an egg, which is zero. I have one, uh, two points for my, what's it called? <laughs> Chicken finger that I mixed in there. One point for the margarine. And then I have five crackers for two points. So if I'm not mistaken, that's a five point lunch. I finally only used two crackers in my soup. So that'll take off a point. So that'll be one point only for the crackers. I filmed some clips while making the soup earlier, so I'll include the recipe there in case I forget to put it in the description box. And you guys can just screenshot, uh, screenshot it or write it down. So to make this delicious soup, I used two cups of chopped carrots, one medium chopped onion, one clove of garlic, a quarter cup of long green rice, and then five cups of chicken broth. I cook it all up for about 30 minutes on low and then blend it all up and voila, you've got yourself a delicious one point soup. So back again, um, I didn't eat a snack just because I've been so busy. I'm going to definitely have a good dessert tonight, um, but I'll show you guys what I made for my um, supper. So this is it. It's um, basically uh, vegetables with... Um, uh, cream of uh, chicken soup with chicken 
and I put about a quarter cup rice under all of that. Um, so it comes to, I think it was seven points because of the cream of chicken mix, but we get, I get about like a point back for the vegetables still. So it's coming out to six points for this meal for my supper. Hey there. So all the kids are in bed and it is time for me to work tonight. Um, sadly tonight is not the night that I get to watch TV and hang out. I need to get some work done. But that's okay. Um, it's the life I chose. Um, I wanted to be able to be there for the kids and I wanted to um, also bring in money because we need it and especially in these times of inflation. Um, so I do work weird hours. Sometimes I work evenings but at least it allows me to keep my daughter at home with me. Um, so now I'm about to head down into the office but I figured I would prepare my snack to have it with me down there. Um, I'm not super hungry. That supper was actually super, like, filling, I guess you could say, satisfying. Um, so I'm going to have a oatmeal cookie ball, um, with an apple. Oatmeal cookie ball is basically just me that makes cookie dough. I roll it into individual three-point portions, and then I freeze it like that. Um, I really enjoy cookie dough, and at least it prevents me from making a whole batch of cookies and eating way too much. This way I can go single serving size, and if I wanted to bake them, I could also. Um, my favorite is oatmeal cookie, so that is the ones that I made uh, earlier this week, and um, they're in the basement, so I'll show you guys once I get down there. But uh, yeah, that'll be my snack for tonight. So that'll be three points, but I'll show you. I had to grab my water bottle also to go downstairs. I got this on Amazon for 23 bucks, I believe. And it keeps my water so cold for so long. I've been loving drinking in this. It really helps me get my water in. Another little trick, non-trick that helps me. I have toothpaste on my lips. Sorry, I was brushing my daughter's teeth. I guess I got some on there. Um, from eating too many, this is my storage room downstairs. That's why the wall looks so grimy. <laughs> and it's also where I keep all my extra food uh, that I keep in case of emergencies. And I have my fridge freezer and I have my vertical freezer here. Um, this is where I keep all my I meats. got a butcher order last week. So I have like breakfast sausage, bacon. These were on sale the other day, so I got some. This is more like chicken fingers, extra waffles. And then here I have whole chickens, lots of ground beef, some chicken thighs and the drumsticks, I mean, sorry. I have a uh, ham, I have pork chops, I have burgers. And then all the way down here, I have frozen chicken breasts. So I'm all stocked up on meat. And then in this little drawer, I find it super cool, is where I keep my cookie dough balls. So at least by having them down in the basement, I'm not as like... It's not as, how can I say this? I have a 20 month old daughter, so it's not like I'm leaving her alone very much. So when I'm upstairs during the day, I'm not going to just grab a cookie out of the freezer. It is downstairs, so I really have to think about it and think about it a couple times before I do it. So that really helps me stay on track and only have the portion that I wanted. So this will be my evening snack, my apple with my cookie dough ball. I like the combo of oats and apple. It kind of makes me think of having um, apple crisp. So on that note, guys, I'm going to get to work because it is past 8 o'clock. And if I want to be done by 11, I need to get started. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments if you did and also what you guys did today or what you have planned, depending on if you're starting this early in your day. Um, I would love for you to subscribe and join my channel. I post grocery hauls, what I eat in a days, and sometimes some mom hack style videos. And in my shorts, just for fun, um, I like posting Harry Potter content as well. I am a Harry Potter fan. Um, so if any of those apply to you, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are warned when I post on here, and we'll see each other next time. Bye!